afternoon and welcome to EM Chat. I'm Jessica Heasley, the editor of Event Marketer Magazine, and in just a minute we'll get started with today's chat on five ways to use Pinterest for events. Uh, but first I want to just give you a quick rundown of how EM Chats work. Our expert panelist has come today with a few tips that he'll present during the first 10 minutes or so, and then we'll go face-to-face -face for some Q&A for another 15 minutes. Feel free to submit your questions at any time using the chat feature in the lower right-hand corner of your screen, and our expert will answer those questions in real time. You can also click on the people icon located in the lower right-hand corner of your screen uh, to bring your video feed to full screen. And just a friendly reminder uh, to please mute your phone lines. We'll wait. Good? Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to welcome our industry expert for today's chat, Ed Swiderski is the co-author of the book, Pinterest for Business, How to Pin Your Company to the Top of the Hottest Social Media Network. Uh, it was just announced today, actually, that Pinterest's valuation is $3.8 billion, making it one of the most valuable privately held companies. So our timing could not be more perfect for a discussion about how to leverage this fast-growing and incredibly popular platform. I see Ed is with us, so welcome, Ed, and I'll let you take it away. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Jessica. Yeah, today I am going to kind of give, give you guys a quick, I would say, 10-minute um, overview of, of a kind of a blitz-style um, uh, presentation of what I think are the top ways that you can use Pinterest. And again, you know, Pinterest is, I think I put this in my notes, but Pinterest is really not, you know, it's, it's, this is not an earth-shattering tool, right? It's just another social media platform. Um, but there are some, some unique aspects of it that I think that, uh, that are really, they're, they're great to enhance uh, events, to help you measure events, and to um, augment events. So I'm going to go through some of these, um, these concepts that I came through here. Let me go ahead and start the, the presentation, all right? Let me know if you guys can see when I'm ready here. Everybody see this? Desktop? You can see a desktop. Um, not seeing the presentation yet. All right. Let's see if you can see in just a minute here. There we go. How's that? Yep, we got it. All right, great. So again, this is going to be kind of a, a blitz style overview, and um, and uh, I'm looking forward to answering questions, and uh, we'll go from here. So uh, again, it looks like there's a little shameless promotion for Event Tech here. Uh, well, I'll be speaking at Event Tech in a couple weeks, so if anybody's going to be out there, I'd love to meet you in person. So um, so the first tip I want to give is, ooh, ooh here we go, uh, you know, reaching more people, right? There's a reason why Pinterest is more effective than other platforms. Um, and, you know, I I think about this a lot, and I get asked a lot of questions, is, you know, why, why is it more unique? And the, the truth is that our minds think differently uh, with visualizations, right? We absorb information faster and we retain it longer. So when you when you see a, a network like Pinterest, it is uh, it's perfect for this, right? Because it's really not meant to be a real time uh, platform, right? I mean, it, it can be, but the truth is there are other platforms out there that can do that. So um, really, it's all about for your events reaching more people, whether it's pre-event, post-event. And um, getting getting uh, content out there prior to your event too. It's not so much during the event. I think that, that Pinterest can be helpful, but it's certainly um, for archival purposes. And I'll get into some of those reasons in a minute. Um, the types of content that you can put up here that you may not even be aware of. So really, it's exciting your audience. There's 27. I think that's an, an old number now, but I think there are around 30 million people that are using it. Uh, unique users now. Um, you know, there are 405 on Facebook, but when you look at the ratio of effectiveness and reach and engagement, I know engagement's overused, but this is truly a, uh, you know, much more effective platform to, to do that on. Obviously, the United States right now is the hottest, um, uh, you know, the hottest country to, to, to market on Pinterest, but other, uh, other areas around the world are growing. Uh, second thing is, you know, this really is a, it can be a virtual product catalog. You know, it's not going to replace your e-commerce solution if you have one, but it definitely can help you drive traffic to it and, uh, and sell more products. Um, you know, again, if you have a trade show or, um, you know, an event that you have products at, you really want to tie those in. You can do things creative with, um, 
know, QR codes and linking to, to link those back to your Pinterest boards and get people interested in, in your other products maybe, right? Um, but the point is this, it does a couple of things by doing that. You're, you're driving traffic to your own site um, with, the, with the, the help of the event, but you can also improve SEO, and um, there are things like rich pins where you can actually put pricing in your pins too, which is, um, is really effective because you can sort by pricing. So it really has become some, somewhat of, a, of an e-commerce platform. Um, you know, Pinterest in general is much more of a, a quality gallery rather than just kind of off-the-cuff images. Uh, I don't want to say off your camera phone, but um, because sometimes that can be effective also when you're looking for more of a raw format. Uh, but quality imagery, quality content is really more important, right? Make sure you have a business account. That's the last one. Uh, sometimes people sign up and they're signing up as an individual, and you really want to make sure that you're, uh, you're, you're uh, signing up as a business. A lot of people ask me, what's the difference between Instagram and Pinterest, right? You know, most of the, most of the content that comes from Instagram is, like I said, camera phone type, user generated, it's real time, brand mentions, and that's fine. But for events, I can see, um, in fact, we know that it is much more effective to have a quality gallery with your live traffic. And, um, and then the click-through rate is, is insanely uh, much better. And you can do things like embedding your page, actually, right on, like West Elm has done here. You can embed the page right on your, your e-commerce site. So you can do some creative things in, to, uh, to integrate to what you currently have out there. Uh, visual curation, right? So this is a big one because, really, the, the advantage of having Pinterest uh, set up is you do have the flexibility of creating your own categories and boards Whereas platforms like Pinterest, um, even Facebook, which uh, may or may not kind of compete with Pinterest in some ways, uh, you have the ability to do that, but it's really not the right venue to do that. This is an exclusive environment for you to do that. And um, the other thing that people, a lot of people don't even realize, um, brands don't even realize that video is, is capable, you know, you're capable of using video on Pinterest now. So to have one central location where you can post videos and images under this kind of um, taxonomy or organization, uh, I think is, is a great great way to, to demonstrate your, your you know your visualizations, all your visual content. Um, you'll see that you know we, we wrote a book like Jessica mentioned uh, on Pinterest for business, and you know we talked with a lot of researchers, and they all you know clearly um, pointed out that visual uh, content is so much more effective than you know text in, in static imagery. Um, quality content is, you know, people remember that stuff. They associate with stories. So, um, let's go on to so promotion. Um, I think that, uh, I don't know what I got here in the end here. <laughs> um, so, for promotions, right? Contests, advertising, measurement. Advertising is kind of a new, um, it's a new enhancement to Pinterest, and I think it's, uh, right now it's, it's doing okay. I think it, it has room for improvement. But you can do promoted posts and, and promoted pins and, and things like that. So, but the point is that tie these back to your goals, right? I mean, don't just put out an ad and, and not really understand what your goals are behind that because, um, you know, if you're, and, and then obviously measure the effectiveness. And you can do that with Pinterest analytics, which are very uh, robust, and you can combine those with other platforms too, like Google Analytics. So, um, so more. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, you know, that's, that's what we're here to do, right? In our events, we want to get more eyeballs and attraction to what we're, what we're selling. And, you know, Pinterest is the most effective social media network to do that on. Um, you know, if you look at the numbers, the, the cost per transaction is, is incredibly higher than other platforms. Um, and then also, if you look at just social media in general, uh, you know, it's driving more traffic than just, you know, traditional uh, direct mail and other, and other marketing platforms, and blogging is a, is a big piece of that, too. But I also recommend um, kind of a separate topic, but making sure that you're integrating all of your Pinterest content with your blogs. I think it's a great idea to post that, that content on your blog because you're, it's, your, it's your web property. You ultimately own that content, and then push it to Pinterest so, so you have uh, the rights to everything. Um, again, you know, 80% of, of all Pinterest categories, that's, that's a pretty big number. Uh, all the e-commerce right now. So. I want to say thank you to Ed. Thank you, well, Ed. Thank you everyone, yeah. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me, and I'd be happy to uh, to get back to you. 
Our special thanks once again to Ed Swiderski, and thank, thank you all for chatting with us today. Uh, we'll see you again next time. All right, thanks. Bye.